In this Stages Indoor Cycling Quick Start tutorial, let's walk through the Power Console features and get you ready to ride. Save ride data to any USB storage device. Plug the device into the port at the top of the console and press the stage button. Once your USB is recognized, you'll see a check mark and can proceed to warm-up mode. USB storage devices are optional and do not affect console operations. All displays are active whether you choose to save your ride data or simply view it in a moment. To begin your workout, start pedaling, then press the stage button. You'll begin in warm-up mode. As you can see, live data is shown on the left-hand side of your screen. This represents the actual work that you are putting into the bike at this moment. Let's start with the top row and work our way down. A watt is an instantaneous measure of your power and is a product of two factors, force and RPM. In indoor cycling, force is affected by changing your resistance. RPM is the number of times the rider's foot travels a complete revolution in one minute. This is also referred to as cadence. Speed can be displayed in miles per hour or kilometers per hour. You can easily change this unit of measurement in the console settings. KCAL or instantaneous calories per hour will display when a heart rate monitor is not connected. This can be changed in the console settings menu. As you can see, in warm-up mode, the timer has not started and data is not yet being written to your USB device. Let's look at an additional screen option for heart rate monitor display. If you do choose to wear a heart rate monitor, the system will toggle between the live heart rate and calorie per hour. Again, this can be changed in the console settings. To start a new stage, press the stage button. Now data will be written to the USB device, should you choose to use one. Once the stage button is pressed, average information is now shown on the right-hand side of your screen. These are the averages for this particular section of time, also known as a stage. The timer displays elapsed time for the current stage. Distance for the current stage can be viewed in miles or kilometers. Units can easily be changed in the console settings. A stage can last for as long or as short as you choose. You can have up to 99 stored stages. Press the stage button again to start a new stage. Once the stage button is pressed, average data from the previous stage will hold on the right hand side for 6 seconds. As you can see, we're now in stage 2. This is a new section of time, therefore the timer and the distance reset. After 6 seconds, your averages reset to show averages for the new stage. Press the stage button again. Notice the averages from the previous stage freeze for 6 seconds. This is really useful during interval training as it helps you remember your averages from the previous stage, especially when the going gets tough. Let's see that one more time. There we have it, 165 average watts from the previous stage holds long enough to remember and then we resume displaying our current stage averages. The average end button serves two functions. Press it once to enter ride mode and see a summary of all your work done thus far. You'll notice the left hand side changes to max values for the ride. These are your one second maximums. The bottom of your screen changes to show total elapsed time and total distance traveled. This button can be pressed at any time during the ride. The backlight button can be pressed at any time to illuminate your screen. However, if you're riding the SC3 self-generated power console, you'll never have to press the backlight button. As long as you pedal at least 20 RPMs, the backlight will stay lit through the end of your ride. The second function of the average end button is, you guessed it, to end your ride. Simply hold until you see the word results in the message banner at the top of your screen. Additional information is displayed here as well. Kilojoules represent the total work that the rider put into the bike for that time frame. If you add up all the watts that you generated during class, you get kilojoules. Think of it as energy output over time. The console will convert work put into the bike over time, that's kilojoules, into kcal. The result is the approximate amount of food calories spent. When it comes to kcal shown at the end of your ride, remember this. 
work done equals calories needed to do the work. In other words, there is no possible way that you burned any less calories than what's displayed on your screen. If counting calories matters to you, this is the most reliable number for managing your caloric requirements. The console will fall asleep on its own after two minutes of inactivity, but if you need to get started again, press the average end button to return to the USB screen and ride once more. Thanks for viewing the Stages Power Console Quick Start Tutorial. For more information, please visit stagesindoorcycling.com.